There is a new model that has all of the valley buzzing. But from a Chinese lab called DeepSea. It's opened a lot of eyes of like what is actually happening in AI in China. The AI industry just got blindsided. DeepSeek, a fast-growing Chinese AI lab, has released Janus Pro 7B, a multimodal AI that's smaller, faster, and outperforming bigger models in several key benchmarks. This happened at a moment when U.S. AI stocks were already crashing, and now the tech world is scrambling to figure out what happens next. To put it into perspective, DeepSeek launched two game-changing models in just one week. First, the DeepSeek R1 language model, and now Janus Pro 7B, a vision-based AI designed to process and generate images. And the timing? It couldn't have been more deliberate. This launch isn't just about AI, it's about China's growing dominance in artificial intelligence and whether U.S. tech giants like OpenAI and Google can keep up. But the real question is, how does Janus Pro 7B compare to GPT-40? And why are investors suddenly so worried? President Trump says the rapid rise of the Chinese artificial intelligence company DeepSeek is a wake-up call for the U.S. tech industry. DeepSeek, which its owners say cost around just $6 million to develop, has become the most downloaded free app in the U.S. So what is Janus Pro 7B? Janus Pro 7B is not just another AI model. It's a vision-based AI capable of both interpreting and generating images placing it in direct competition with OpenAI's Dolly 3 and Google's Gemini. What makes it truly disruptive is its size to performance ratio. Unlike massive models like GPT-40, which require enormous computing resources, Janus Pro 7B is optimized for efficiency. It operates with just 7 billion parameters, a fraction of GPT-40's size, yet it consistently outperforms larger models in image generation and visual reasoning benchmarks. This efficiency carries significant implications. Smaller models mean lower costs, allowing businesses and developers to deploy Janus Pro 7B without requiring massive GPU clusters. Additionally, its open source nature gives users complete access to its capabilities, unlike OpenAI's closed models, which remain restricted. More importantly, Janus Pro 7B specializes in vision-based tasks, excelling at image recognition, object detection, and text-to-image generation. For businesses that rely on visual AI for marketing, automation, and customer service, this model could become a game changer. By delivering advanced performance with reduced computational overhead, Janus Pro 7B lowers the barrier to entry for companies looking to integrate AI-driven visual intelligence into their workflows. But the real question is, how does it actually perform? Let's talk about numbers. AI models can make big claims, but benchmarks don't lie. And according to DeepSeek's latest performance tests, Janus Pro 7B is leading in key areas. Independent evaluations and DeepSeek's own research show that it outperforms OpenAI's Dolly 3 in text-to-image generation, producing more accurate, high-resolution images with better detail preservation. It also surpasses stable diffusion in image captioning and reasoning, demonstrating a stronger ability to understand visual data. Additionally, Janus Pro 7B competes with GPT-40 in visual question answering, an area where OpenAI has traditionally dominated. One of the most talked about benchmarks is how Janus Pro 7B handles image realism. While many AI-generated images often appear artificial or distorted, DeepSeek's model generates photorealistic visuals with fewer errors. This raises a crucial question. If a smaller, more efficient model is already competing with OpenAI's best tools, what happens when DeepSeek scales up? But the story doesn't stop there. The timing of this release sent shockwaves through the AI industry, leading many to believe it was a strategic move aimed at challenging U.S. tech dominance. As Janus Pro 7B gains traction, its impact on the global AI landscape is becoming impossible to ignore. DeepSeek's strategic attack. Here's what makes this release even more intriguing. It wasn't just about launching a new AI model, it was about timing. DeepSeek dropped Janus Pro 7B just as US AI stocks were crashing, adding to the panic already sweeping through Silicon Valley. And this wasn't the first time. Just a week before DeepSeek released its R1 large language model, 
which had already triggered concerns about China's rapid AI progress. The impact was immediate. NVIDIA's stock price dipped as investors worried that China's AI acceleration could impact future chip demand. OpenAI dominance was suddenly in question as developers started looking into Janus Pro 7B's open source capabilities and its potential to disrupt the market. Even more surprising, DeepSeek's app overtook ChatGPT on the Apple App Store, becoming the number one AI app in the US, signaling a clear shift in user interest toward Chinese AI alternatives. But why is China moving so aggressively in AI? Unlike OpenAI and Google, which are corporate-driven and depend on profitability, DeepSeek is playing the long game. They're not just competing, they're redefining the AI race by focusing on efficiency, accessibility, and open source adoption. This could be a game changer for the AI industry. If smaller, more efficient models continue to outperform larger ones, we may see a shift away from expensive, closed AI systems toward more accessible, decentralized AI solutions. And that raises an even bigger question. Is OpenAI's strategy falling apart? OpenAI's big problem. DeepSeek is taking a radically different approach from OpenAI. It's open sourcing its models, making AI accessible to anyone. Developers, businesses, and researchers can freely experiment with Janus Pro 7B, modify it, and integrate it into their own applications. In contrast, OpenAI continues to keep its most powerful models, including GPT-40, locked behind a paywall with restricted access. This creates a significant risk for OpenAI and other closed source AI companies like Google and Anthropic. If developers flock to DeepSeek's free open source AI, it could cripple the paid AI market. Startups and independent developers are more likely to choose an open source model that offers flexibility, cost savings, and the ability to fine tune for specific use cases. The situation mirrors the classic Windows versus Linux battle. Microsoft dominated for years with a closed system, but Linux became the backbone of the internet because of its open source flexibility. The AI industry may be heading in the same direction. OpenAI's decision to keep GPT-40 proprietary might have short-term financial benefits, but in the long run, DeepSeek's open model could capture the majority of AI adoption worldwide. If OpenAI doesn't shift its strategy, it risks being left behind in a rapidly evolving AI landscape. We now have a world-class open source model that is low cost, easy to deploy, and will probably be deployed in many different places. So you would think um, that the market would be excited, there'd be more use of AI. And if there'd be you know, some amount of um, movement downwards, it wouldn't have been to the magnitude that we saw today with NVIDIA. Is the US falling behind? China is rapidly closing the AI gap with the United States. Just a few years ago, 90% of the leading AI models were American, but by 2025, that number is expected to drop to 50%. DeepSeek's rise is a direct reflection of how fast China is advancing, and it's not slowing down. The US government has been tightening restrictions on AI chip exports to China, trying to limit access to cutting edge semiconductors from companies like Nvidia. But despite these restrictions, China's AI progress has installed. Instead, it's accelerating. The Chinese government is pouring billions of dollars into AI research and development, funding projects like DeepSeek to ensure that China isn't just catching up, it's taking the lead. DeepSeek's rapid rise proves that AI dominance isn't just about having the biggest models or the most compute power. It's about efficiency, adaptability, and speed. China's AI industry is focused on creating models that are not just powerful, but cost-effective and accessible, which gives it a strategic advantage over U.S. companies that rely on expensive cloud-based AI services. If the U.S. tech giants don't innovate fast enough, they could soon find themselves playing catch-up in an industry they once dominated. The AI war. The AI war is shifting in a way that few anticipated. For years, bigger models meant better AI, and the companies with the most computing power, OpenAI, Google, Meta, dominated. But that era might be coming to an end. Now, smaller, more efficient models like Janus Pro 7B are proving that optimization is more important than sheer size. OpenAI, Google, and other Western AI leaders must adapt quickly or risk losing their lead. If DeepSeek continues at this pace, China could dominate the AI landscape within the next five years. The implications of this go far beyond business competition. 
it could shape the geopolitical balance of power in technology. The big question now out is, will OpenAI fight back with GPT-5? Reports suggest that OpenAI is working on a much more powerful successor to GPT-4.0, but will it be enough? Will it be open source? Or will OpenAI double down on its closed system approach? This is a pivotal moment in AI history. The companies that make the right moves in the next year could define who leads the next decade of AI innovation. Who wins this race? Odtis Ajanis Pro 7B is a clear sign that the AI race is evolving. DeepSeek's rapid rise shows that efficiency, accessibility, and adaptability may be more important than brute force computing power. OpenAI's decision to keep its models closed source could become its biggest weakness. While DeepSeek is gaining momentum with free, open source AI, OpenAI is still restricting access to GPT-4.0, which could drive developers and businesses toward alternative models. China's AI investments are accelerating at an unprecedented pace. And if the U.S. doesn't respond with faster innovation and more open AI solutions, it risks falling behind. So the final question is, will the next dominant AI model be Chinese? If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting talks, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.